Yes, and the Prime Minister, actually, Rishi Sunak, has just tweeted to say that this is a historic moment for NATO that makes us all safer. It's a bit of deja vu, to be honest. On the eve of last year's summit in Madrid, there was again a nail-biting drama about whether or not Turkey would agree to the initial stages of accession for not just Sweden, but Finland as well. And at, again, at the 11th hour, it said yes, and there was this big fanfare about this historic moment. But here we are a year later. Finland has now joined NATO. It joined the alliance a few months ago. But Sweden is still on the outside, with Turkey continuing to raise concerns about security issues. Principally, it's worried about... Uh, Sweden's approach to Kurdish militants that Turkey views as a threat. But there was a meeting today in Vilnius, which is where I am, which is where the NATO summit is going to be taking place tomorrow and Wednesday. And the head of NATO, he met with the Turkish president and the Swedish prime minister and came out this evening with this joint statement which said that Turkey has agreed to move this accession protocol to the Turkish parliament to be ratified as soon as possible. But when Jens Stoltenberg was asked what that actually means in practice, he couldn't give a concrete date. So we still are in a bit of limbo. And also thrown into the mix, President Erdogan today raised the idea that a Turkish agreement to Sweden joining NATO would hinge on whether the EU were to open up membership for Turkey to that club. And actually, as part of the deal that's just been announced tonight, Sweden has said that it will... Um, it will you know, uh, amplify its efforts to support Turkish membership to the EU. So there you go. There has been a bit of a breakthrough, which will be a relief for all the NATO allies as they've got lots more crunchy decisions tomorrow and Wednesday, principally around Ukraine to take place.